Hi, this is Tim, and this week's automation question is about our SIM ALP2. And someone asked, can this drive a very large valve that is controlled by a milliamp signal? Well, yeah, a milliamp signal is really a milliamp signal. So whether, you know, you're driving a signal to this meter here or to a valve that is so you could drive a truck through, the principle is going to be the same. So right here, this guy's doing exactly what you're talking about. He has an air actuated valve that is controlled by milliamp signals. So how much the valve is open is determined by what milliamp you're sending to it. So if four milliamps closes the valve, say 12 milliamps has the valve halfway open and 20 will have the valve all the way open. And also I want to thank this guy for sending in this application story because it really helps people understand and learn what milliamp signals can do when we have stories like this. Our trainers can do a lot, but seeing these things in the real world is really helpful. Also for the month of August, we're going to be giving away one of our SIM ALP2 analog simulators over on our Patreon page. And I'm also going to include in this drawing anybody that will send in some application footage of their analog simulator in action. So if you want a chance to win a second analog simulator, send us some video footage of yours in action. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.